guys, welcome back to another video of K-Life here, and today I'm going to be showing you the 5 best 3D printed tools you can make right now. Let's get started with the first one. Shoot, I knocked the lamp down. The first one or two, depending on how you look at it, are arguably the most cost effective ones. These are both part sorting trays. This is a hexagon sorting tray with two different levels of depth. And this is a multi-part sorting tray with lines here and then a little mechanism here so that you can dump it back into your bag or bucket. Both, obviously, are be some of the best prints you can make right away as the first thing you're going to do is organize your parts and you're going to make a mess. So I would argue these are some of the first prints you should make as a maker or just as anyone building things. Next up, we got this precision ruler here. This is a really amazing print because it's designed for some of the best applications ever. What you do is just slide it against your desk, and you've got holes now here that you can put a pen in and mark. They're all individual millimeters. So super accurate, super uh, simple print. I did it in two colors. It's just two pieces. It's just the bar and the uh, main part, the ruler part, and you can just screw them together. However, I didn't need to because I friction fit mine, which works great. So this is definitely a tool I'd recommend. Look, I get it. You dumped your screws and now you're super mad because you have no idea which ones they are. Because of course when you buy a screw parts organizer, it comes with different screw lengths and sizes. So let's just quickly run off this super cheap six hour print here. I did it in two colors because I think it looks sick. And what it does is it tells you the diameter of the screw you're measuring itself and it also tells you the length of the bolt or screw that you're measuring. It's great, it's really easy, and it's also amazing for reorganizing your parts, or just if you, like me, keep bags of parts around that are similar to each other, then you can check to see which one is which, if you don't remember. This next one is arguably pretty cost effective for how fast and cheap. This is uh, an amazing tool. And so basically what you do is you just put this gear on here, slide a nut in, you put the nut through the bottom, it's a little time consuming because you do have to get the right nut length of the screw. You need an M6 bolt, and I recommend doing at least an M635, this is an M630, exactly what I have in here, and it's not quite long enough, so it's a little short, but use an M635, that'll be great. And what this does is it basically just allows you to clamp down some sandpaper all the way around. Apparently, sandpaper sheets aren't actually big enough to wrap all the way around because this is more meant for belt sanding paper. So you can strap some belt sanding paper, which you can get really low grit, which is nice. And it serves really well for a uh, sander and it's a block. You can also scale it down if you want and you can get a really nice precision sander. Let's give it a test. For some reason, whenever I print with this white film, it turns out really rough. So we can just give it a quick sand. Already much better. I love this thing already. It's super easy to use. It's not that hard to set up as well, and it already is so much smoother and feels great. These last two prints are arguably some of the less useful ones because they're either a really big pain to put together or just you might as well buy the uh, actual tool itself. But I definitely recommend both of these for someone who just needs a small device that isn't that's super cheap to print, prints quickly, and you just need that one instantly and you don't want to buy it from the store, which is fair, because I didn't either. So here we have a vise, an openable and closable vise that is designed to clamp onto your table using this bracket here. So what you can do is just unscrew it, clamp it on, and now you have a vise to anchor anything in here. With the second one here, we have a four jaw vise. This comes in three variants. You've got the two jaw vise, which just has two jaws going towards each other. You've got three, which goes three, like uh, this. And then you have the four jaw vise, which is what I printed, because I figured it would be the most universal and useful. Basically, you have these really nice little clamps here. When you twist this gear here, they go in or they go out, and you can open, you can put something inside there. Super useful, super small scale. However, the designer has actually included these bigger brackets here, these bigger parts that you can put on instead of these smaller jaws. Um, and what these do is, these, this is for a two jaw vise, but it works on this one too, is these are bigger parts and they just go in like a wedge uh, vise like this. 
and then these two here are also bigger and they go like this as well. The designer also made these convenient smaller tool heads and uh, these are like the exact other ones. Basically you can have four of them like this, all going into the middle. These are flat with, uh, with uh, grooves and they're serrated on the side. And then you can have these here which are pointed and you can have four of these as well. Honestly great, but I found the assembly quite annoying. You do have to turn your tolerances down and you have to adjust your flow rate a fair amount. And you do need to use lube, so I just use bike lube because that's all I have and I find it's the easiest to work with. And for this one, I guess I already explained how it works. The only issue I have with it is the fact that you have to put these like uh, tabs in here and I find the first thing you should do is freeze them. That makes the plastic contract and shrink so it fits easier. They're still a pain to use and like to set up. You will need a hammer, but I got it all set up and I do really like how heavy duty and sturdy this is. These are arguably the most expensive prints on the whole list. However, if you're really looking to get that 3D printed tool vibe, definitely go for these. These are amazing prints. And if you got your settings dialed in correctly and you got the right components and lube and stuff that you need to put them together, definitely amazing. So I definitely recommend these. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video of me showing you different 3D printed tools that I think you should make. And uh, comment down below if you really like these videos because I really like making them. They're super uh, fun because it makes it motivates me to do some 3d printing and they're also really I found these this video really practical for myself just to see what is out there and what I can 3d print so thanks for tuning in guys and uh, I'll see you all in the next one can't believe that lamp didn't break when it fell on the floor